Hello and welcome to another Mr. Pollock Biology video. This time it's a GCSE video for AQA Unit 3. We're looking at how blood sugar is controlled and what happens if you've got type 1 diabetes. With me today is my Year 11 Biology class and they're going to help me make this video. First of all, we start off with normal blood glucose levels. We don't want things to get too high because otherwise organs risk failure. And if things get too low, you don't have enough glucose kicking around for respiration. So let's get started and look at what happens if blood glucose were to raise. Digestion of carbohydrates produces glucose. The pancreas detects the increase in blood glucose. Insulin is then secreted by the pancreas. Insulin then causes the glucose to be removed by the liver. Glucose is stored as glycogen in the liver. And hopefully, if this works, we'll end up back at normal blood glucose. So that's how your body responds to high blood sugar. Remember, it's always the pancreas that detects the change. It's also the pancreas that secretes the, uh, the hormone involved, and it's always the liver that makes the response. So now we're going to have a look and see what happens if your blood sugar were to lower. The next stage involves doing exercise. The exercise removes glucose from the blood for respiration. This is because glucose is a reactant of respiration. The pancreas detects the decrease in the blood glucose. Glucagon is the hormone that is secreted into the bloodstream by the pancreas. Glycogen converted into glucose in the liver. Glucose added by liver. And hopefully that will bring us back round to our normal blood glucose level that the body is completely happy with. So you guys need to know all of these stages, um, but realistically it's just a case of learning the same steps uh, in two different ways. So we're going to have a little look now at what happens if you can't uh, if you sorry, if you don't have a functioning pancreas or it doesn't produce uh, the hormones in the right way, and this is type one diabetes. So let's have a look first of all at the cause and symptoms of diabetes. When you have type one diabetes, the pancre pancreas produces little or no insulin. Blood glucose levels can rise to a level that can result in death. So what we do is we produce insulin for use by diabetics. Insulin used to be produced by cows and pigs. Now, insulin is produced by bacteria. This is done by genetic engineering. This process involves taking the human insulin gene and putting it into a bacterium. This also has le less side effects. So we're now going to learn about how type 1 diabetes is controlled. By avoiding food, which is rich in carbohydrates, and also exercising after eating to use of glucose. Inject injecting insulin directly into the blood as a, pil uh, as a pill would be digested by enzymes in the stomach. The amount of insulin injected depends on the individual's diet and how much exercise they do. Not as accurate as a working pancreas, this may make people suffer long-term illnesses. And finally, we need to look to the future of treatment for type 1 diabetes. Pancreas transplants are possible, but there are not many donors. Also, organs could be rejected. This requires immunosuppressant drugs which are needed, and they can be quite expensive. In the future, it is also possible that artificial pancreases could be created. Stem cell research may lead to less rejection. And that's pretty much everything for type 1 diabetes, so the only thing that remains for me to do is say thank you very much for my Year 11 Biology class. David, Nick, Elliot, James, Edward, Sammy, Alex, Ruben and Liam, and also Chapman and Juno, who didn't take part, but are here nonetheless. Thank you very much guys, like, comment and subscribe.